on Friday, Expedition 67 crew members uh, Italian astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti, Kjell Lindgren, Bob Hines, and Jessica Watkins returned to Earth after six months on the ISS in their Crew Dragon Freedom spacecraft, concluding SpaceX's fourth commercial crew mission. Dragon, SpaceX on the big loop, all hooks open. And Dragon separation confirmed. All 12 hooks now open. Hooks all open and release confirmed at 11.05 a.m. Central Time while Dragon and the International Space Station flew 259 statute miles above the North Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> a little sped up for pacing. As uh, stuff in space usually happens uh, rather slowly, even if they're traveling at uh, very fast speeds. Now, uh, they undocked from the Node 2 Zenith, or space-facing port, away from the Earth, so they got some great views of the ISS with the Earth below. If we skip forward. Here we go. And Freedom SpaceX on the big loop to Heartburn Zero was nominal. Four astronauts time aboard the orbit outpost is complete following a six month science and research mission. Undocking occurred at 11.05 a.m. Central Time. You can see uh, one of the astronauts there taking photos with his uh, iPad through the uh, viewport. That is a view from Dragon as it leaves the International Space Station. So it's incredible that it was just there moments ago and it's moving already as we can see further and further away. And they were docked to the node to. And here is a view from an infrared camera aboard, aboard a NASA plane of, the, of Crew Dragon's re entry. We have about two minutes remaining in the anticipated period of uh, communications blackout. Now, it's not an exact science. There might be some variation that occurs. Uh, we might hear from the crew a little earlier the, than we expected or potentially a little bit later. Um, but we are all on the edge of our seats, eagerly awaiting um, to hear from the crew. So far, everything looking good. And parachute deployment. Shoots, and you can hear the crowd here very excited to see them deploy. So if you're not already familiar, the process of, of uh, or the sequence of parachute deployments is that first they release two drogue chutes, which are these small parachutes, which slow the craft down to the point where it is safe to deploy the four main parachutes. Dragon with the two drogue chutes, we are just anticipating the main chutes to deploy here shortly. And the uh, the main chutes, when they are initially deployed, are are furled or what do they call it? I forgot the term. But um, they are uh, uh, bunched up, and then they gradually are released to a wider diameter as the vehicle slows down, so as to uh, uh, minimize the stresses on the parachutes, which are, after all, fabric, albeit very tough fabric. Great news, as you can see there, the main chutes have... And from this point, it takes a um, couple of minutes to complete its descent down to the ocean where we get splashed down. Four astronauts on board prepare us to splash down after spending 170 days in space after launching on April 27th. A success. Now, adjust volume here on the fly. 
Uh, once the once the recovery crew finishes hooking up the capsule uh, to the hoist on the recovery ship, the last man climbs the soggy spacecraft and leaps into the water. Looks like um, they may have already completed that process. I'm not seeing them. They might be just off the screen. Now it took a little over 10 minutes for the recovery crew to complete their safety checks, and once they did complete... tally ho uh, now, I call them frogmen, though technically that word refers to combat-trained military divers, but um, I'll still call them frogmen because um, it amuses me and I can't think of a better term. <laughs> and it's it's more interesting than uh, recovery crew or, or whatever, SpaceX diver. Finally, the crew emerges from Crew Dragon. That is all part of our standard procedures. Looks like we're getting some claps and cheers for Bob Hines. First out of Crew Dragon Freedom. <laughs> so upon uh, extracting the crew in either in uh, Kazakhstan or off the coast of Florida, uh, they always place the crew on uh, in chairs or, or on stretchers, whatever. Um, not usually on stretchers, but in chairs in any case. Because uh, despite the fact that they work out for more than two hours every day up there in space, they have still suffered from much muscle atrophy, bone density loss, and they don't have their land legs back. Uh, it would be interesting... I, I'm pretty sure I have seen astronauts come out of the capsule and just stand up and walk around, but uh, most of the time they do sit down because it's been half of, half a year since they've experienced the pull of gravity. Um, now, there is, of course, gravity up there on the ISS. There's about 90% of the gravity that we experience here on the surface. However... Uh, they don't feel it because they are in orbit. They're in constant freefall. And so it's it's uh, not so much um, zero gravity per se as weightlessness that they experience up there because there's always gravity. 